So, match thoughts after yesterday's 2-2 draw with Chelsea. Uh, first off, I watched this game with my wife. She's not a supporter. Um, kind of a casual observer. Um, she asked me why we were playing our game at a high school stadium yesterday. And I kind of laughed. And then I had to explain to her why people call us Tin Pot Bournemouth and how they make fun of the stadium. Um, say we shouldn't be in the Premier League because we only have 11,000 seats or whatever it is. Uh, but that's another story for another day. So, 2-2 draw with Chelsea. I thought we looked really good for the first half hour. Um, pressing them high, creating some chances. We had two great chances from Phil Billing right off the start. Uh, Callum had a good opportunity to score in the first half. Uh, we just couldn't seem to put it together. Um, then Chelsea grew into the game, started to push back. Um, some tough decisions, I thought, from Andre Mariner that didn't go our way, that definitely played a factor. Maybe in the first goal, I thought it was kind of a high boot from Olivier Giroud on Nathan Ake, um, which led to the deflection off the crossbar, which eventually led to the Marcus Alonso goal. Um, other than that, um, I thought we played okay in the first half. Not well enough, but good enough. Um, second half, um, we did not look good at the start of the second half, but then our luck changed, and I think it was 54 minutes um, when we got that corner, and then Jefferson Lerma headed home, which sent the vitality into a frenzy on the broadcast. Um, then three minutes later, to get another one from Josh King, um, I really, really started to believe that we were going to steal all three points after playing pretty average for most of the game. Um, but other than that, um, you could tell that as the game went on, we just started to tire out more and more and more. Um, we had just extended so much effort throughout, you know, the first hour or so of the game that we were kind of dragging towards the finish line. You could really feel that they were going to come back and equalize. I mean, every time they got close to goal that last 25 minutes, you just thought like, oh no, oh no, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then on, I think it was the 83rd minute or so, they finally equalize. Ramsdale makes a terrific save, and he's just slightly short of catching that rebound save. Um, a second goal for the Alonzo Brace. 2-2, definitely a fair result, um, given how average we played, I would say. We definitely had some good performances. I thought Jack Stacy played very well. Um, Lewis Cook in the second half was terrific. Um, I thought Callum did really well up front. Um, a couple of things I would question. I was a little puzzled by the Josh King substitution, given that we were trying to um, play out the game with the lead. Josh King is terrific with his hold-up play. His muscular build and his frame help him bully players to keep the ball. Um, just my opinion. Um, the point's definitely valuable, though, especially after what the teams below us did yesterday. Bot for beating Liverpool. Um, Norwich beating Leicester on Friday. So, obviously we fell into the relegation zone um, on goal difference after the Watford victory, but it's one goal. Um, we're right there. We're one point out of 15th, I believe, with Brighton uh, with on 28 points and a couple of other teams on 27 points as of right now. Um, good performance, I thought. But uh, that light at the end of the tunnel keeps getting bleaker and bleaker. Um, I'm still going to believe. I think we can do it. Um, but we're going to have to get something out of Liverpool on the weekend or uh, we're going to make it much, much harder for ourselves. I think Ed and Lads can do it. I believe they can. And uh, up the cherries. Thanks, guys.